Hey guys, it's Spacey Sims, and we are back with more of The Sims 4 House Rules, which is our Harry Potter Legacy Challenge. Alrighty. I totally forgot everything that happens. I'm just so... Uh, you need to get a gardening skill up so you can, like, actually do something with that plant. We drive me bonkers that we can't use anything. Um... All right. What are you going to do? You're going to take a nap? You could just go to bed. I mean, it's only 7.30, but... Fine, whatever. All right, so she's in bed. You are about to go to bed. Okay. Everybody's in bed. All right, well, that was a great time to start it. Except for poor King. Who is just working his butt off while Gibson does nothing. It doesn't even take care of the kids. Tell ya. Oh, uh, what? Who's calling you? No. He doesn't even go out with his friends. Oh, wait. Did I just tell you to, like, go someplace? Why don't you go sleep? This poor girl is sleeping in the bathtub. Does that need to be cleaned? Looks kind of filthy. Let's see something. When are they going to age up? Five days. Five days? That seems excessively long. They must have just... Did they just age up to children? I don't even remember. Do, do they age up in the last part? I can never remember what happens. Not playing on a weekly basis makes me seriously forget everything that goes on. And that's really sad. She's the only one awake right now. It's like 9 o'clock at night and they're all like in bed like, no, nope, we good. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> the good news is the next part maybe we'll be getting on to Saturday in game time so we can actually take them out to do something. But by then, the new game pack will be out. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it might make things a little more interesting because there's more stuff for the parents to do with the kids and we're coming out on a Saturday. So that'll be fun. Um, curious to see what's going on in that. And I'm actually kind of excited because I have that Friday off that they'll probably do the live stream so I can actually watch it when it's happening instead of like, you know, when I get home from work. Oh, look, Salim just aged up in the hallway. Oh, you're old now. Stop bugging me. Um, I'm sorry, there's literally nothing going on in this part, but... Such is life. Okay, hurry up and go pee, girlfriend. And then we'll have you go to bed. Although I'm pretty sure they're all sleeping in the wrong beds. Because you're the Gryffindor, you're supposed to be sleeping in the red bed. Miko had a baby. Okay, these people. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be your bed. I guess nobody claimed any beds. I don't really care. Yet. Yeah. No. Sorry, Nathan. You have to go pee, so why don't you get up and go pee? He's not going to get up and go pee. When do you come home? Like, <laughs> Please do something exciting when you come home. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Okay, King, sweet cheeks. You're never going to get a promotion. I feel so bad for you. We need to make food, so why don't you cook something? Because you're hungry. Let's cook something. Let's cook clam chowder. Let's just do a family size. Not everybody's going to want to eat that. Clams. Weird. I never really realized that this had like a little thing hanging in the pots and pans. But like, how would you get them out? Like, that would be, I mean, I know it's not that, but like, I feel like this should slide out. It's the Sims, it's all stationary, but. Also, it's funny that everything over here is boxes, because that's like, who would have like actual boxes like that in their kitchen? It was supposed to be more like probably look more like a restaurant kind of style or like industrial kitchen but still you couldn't do that kind of stuff beforehand come on your cooking skill is better than this girl I know it is 
We have to level up in the mixology skill, too. How is your... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Is this who I think it is? Oh, it is. That's our sister that we killed. Where? Wait a minute. How... She, her grave is in our inventory. How is her ghost floating around? That's bizarre. Anyway. We are going to have to... Let's, um... Read... Wait, do we have Mixology Volume 2 in our inventory? Baking. I don't know. Let's see if... Mixology Volume 1, or if we're too skilled for that. I would think it would say reread if we already finished the whole book, but... But like, hey, sorry I killed you, but, you know, you slept with my husband. And impregnated him. And that, you know, sucks. Girl, not cool. She's like, I'm just gonna come break some shit in your house now. Thanks for murdering me. Maybe they're on good terms because she's like, nah, I totally get it. Like, what I did was douchey, so. Why does nobody read or write when I tell them to? Read. Read this. I need you to get your skill up, so you need to actually freaking read the damn book. Like, stop, like, putting things away. Like, it drives me crazy. Read this. I don't want to. Write a book. I don't want to. Oh, my God. Why are you guys jerks? <laughs> he is... Cracking up in his sleep. That's all I can hear is him laughing. Is he actually getting any skill from this? Like, his skill seems to be... Okay, there it is. And then let's cook. Because you need to make get food, more food and stuff. Let's make omelets. Okay, so you got your mixology skill up. Cool, you can go put that away. And you can make some food. Yeah, you could. Wait, what? Uh, resume omelet. Alright, when I guess you're done taking a shower. Why is everyone up at 3 o'clock in the morning? Good lord, you guys. We really need to, like, work on their sleeping and when they sleep. And hopefully... Okay, you know what? Then I'll let you go pee. How is your cooking skill this shit? I mean, like, legit. How is it this shitty? Like, you, you're the one that does all the cooking for the family. But your cooking skill, like, I mean, it's level 7. You shouldn't be cooking like a moron. Like, even I cook better than this. I mean, seriously. Oh, fuck my life. Yeah, I obviously don't have the things break less easily mod. Oh, you know what? I had to take it out because of... Apartments because it was janking out my game. I took it out a while ago and things weren't really breaking and it was like cool And now everything breaks all the time. It's really fucking annoying I really thought there was something in the MC command center to take care of that, but I don't think there is Because it's really aggravating everything goddamn breaks like every freaking second and I really goddamn hate it <laughs> Like it's way too high. This is not realistic like your toilet does not break after every third time you flush it like okay I lived in my apartment for a year before the hot water heater and the air conditioner all broke in the same day. <laughs> the air conditioner was probably broke for like a week before you know, I realized it, but it wasn't that hot, so. Oh, stop talking to whoever's doing homework. Stop talking to whoever's doing homework. Stop talking. You're glitching everyone out. I cannot believe that that's still a damn glitch. I can't believe that still exists. Um... Yes, I get it. Okay, so now you're good. You can go to bed. Yep, go to bed. He's like, this is my life. I go to work. I come home. I take care of all the shit in the house. All the mopping, all the cleaning. While my kids take baths in their shirt. That's bizarre. Weirdos. Okay, let's, let's check on the children. Okay, you're hungry. You're going to eat. Or not. Because you're going to school. Okay, you're gonna put that down? Why is everyone glitchy again? Okay. So you're going to school. You've got to pee, but you'll take care of that at school. Everyone, will f Everyone's fine. All that shit will get taken care of. So that's good. I feel like my screen is crooked. Why are you just standing around? What do you need to do for work? Oh, you've already done all your stuff. Okay, cool. We're gonna send you to work. Just because I don't feel like dealing with you. 
No offense. I love you and all, but you've kind of made me aggravated with how dumb you are sometimes. Like, write your book. You know what? I've had it with you. I've had it with you, and I'm debating making King divorce you and run away with his kids. <laughs> serious. I'm serious, but he's like our... I mean, technically, one of the kids is our heir now, so... We're going to send you to work, to be honest. Um, but yeah, one of the kids is our heir, so technically it's like, we don't, whatever. If he were to die right now, it'd be okay. I'm not saying that I'm going to murder him. I'm just saying if he was stupid enough to, you know, light himself on fire or get accidentally play with the death ray. <laughs> I'm just saying, nothing bad ever happens in my games. Like, I've only had one sim die from anything other than old age, unless I murder them. So, you know. I don't think that that's ever going to change because they made it almost impossible for Sims to die, which is stupid because that ruined some of the fun. And they just, I don't know. What, what are you doing? And it's it just, I don't know, like, I'm not saying I want all my Sims to just, like, burst into flames or, like, have horrible deaths. But, you know, accidents happen. And, you know, the fact that all my Sims live perfect, happy, utopia little lives kind of... I mean, it's nice because I want all my sims to be happy, but at the same time, it's like, you know, that it would save me from having to force my sims to die. Like, oh, I'm going to force you to die. I'm going to actually murder you because that would work out for the story. You know, come on. Let's just ignore it. Oh, he's so mad. Well, that's because why are we all doing the pink bib thing? Are you going to work anytime soon? Okay, bye. Bye, Felicia. Let's ditch school. Why is Audrey saying let's ditch school when we're an adult? We'll just wait and see. Okay. These also get really annoying because they're always exactly the same with the school kid ones. And, like, once you've played the game for, like, you know, five months... They get really repetitive, and you're like, I don't care. I actually don't read them half the time, though. No. I just click. Can we have him do things? I thought you used to be able to click on them. Oh, that's right there. Duh. I'm stupid. I don't... Uh, write reviews. Because that's what you're supposed to be doing. What the hell was that, bird? There was a leaf flying by the window. I don't know. Uh, can we go a little bit faster through this since nobody's home and he's sleeping? Um, Gibson is on assignment at a new food stall on a plate of gnarly looking samples and put it on. Try. Oh, sure. Wow. Gibson carefully adds a bite of the odd substance to his mouth and is immediately engulfed with a bit of flavor. A blast of flavor. This is incredible. He learned more about cooking by identifying the chef responsible. Okay, cool. I just figured, I don't know what's the worst that's going to happen. He's going to die. What? Who was texting us? You threw me out of my... Okay, so you also need to... So let's have you cook something else. Do, 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 do. What can we cook? We already cooked omelets. Let's cook some French toast. Because, hell yeah, that sounds delicious. Ah. Well, you're hungry. And you need to cook for work. Work starts in an hour! Oh, you poor thing. You literally came home, went to bed, and you have to go to work. The story of the adult life. I'd feel sorry for you, but... Life sucks. When you have four kids, two of whom aren't even yours. You poor thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Gibson actually went to work today, but... Not like he's doing anything. Hey. Oh, she's actually got a B. He's got a B. Mm, Percival should be the smart one. So, wait. She's doing well, but doesn't tell you how well. What's her grade? She's actually got a B. I can't believe it. The kid that's supposed to be smart is the dumbass. 
I mean, he's an average student. Doesn't make you dumb. But I mean, I'm just surprised. I would have figured he would have been the overachiever, getting all A's and shit. And instead, he's like, "What abs? B is cool." Harvest this. And then water it. Yay! He actually got to gardening level two. We got two. We're not doing really well with this. So let's see. What do you need? Okay, go get something to eat. No, Riley, go away. Actually, we should have had you come over, and then we could have had a random little tawdry affair with you, and then King would have found out, taken his kids and left. <sighs> Split household! Not gonna lie, it's tempting. Only because there's so many damn sims in this house. Six sims is a lot. <laughs> it's too many! Alright, so you're eating and then you're gonna take a bath. Let's see. You're good. Okay, are you... Nobody better be talking to you. Okay, good. I think it's be... Don't talk to him. You know what? You should probably try and attempt to do your homework like once in your life. I'm just saying. <laughs> He's like, nah. He's like, I'm going to play in the kitchen instead. Weren't you hungry? No, you're the hungry one. Whatever. I get confused. Two redheaded children. And this weirdo. I love her. She's my favorite. Not going to lie. There's not going to be a vote. She's totally going to be the heir because she's my favorite. Oh, stop talking to her while she's doing her homework. It's like all of a sudden, like, what happened? <laughs> oh, everybody's happy. Give me this. Computer is so hot. I'm being lazy. I'm not sitting at my desk like I normally do. I'm sitting on my couch. Like <laughs> I didn't feel like moving everything over to the desk. I'm like, yeah, I just sit on my couch. But my computer's really warm. It runs really hot. It's kind of I don't like it. Okay, you need to take a nap. Like this is the problem. You guys are tired by like six o'clock, and it's like. <sighs> And then you're in bed before 8, and then you're up at 3. It's, like, ridiculous. Yeah, that's it. Stop talking to people while you do your homework. Put that away. Where are you going? You better just be going to nap. Let's just actually nap instead. Which one are you? Let's have you nap for a few minutes. Let's have you nap for a few minutes. Okay, or maybe chat with your sister. While she's doing her homework. Ruin my life. I don't care. You're gonna... Nap. And you're fine. I just want to get their energy up a teeny bit. Oh, you can resume doing homework. Do homework. You better be napping. No, you're gonna nap. Nap. Yep. Why is she holding her book upside down? That looks stupid. So I just want to get their energy up a teeny bit. Um. Okay, so you can get up. Get up. Cause I just don't want them to be like totally exhausted. I don't want them to get up at three. We need to, like, adjust their sleep schedule. Okay, you're fine. Okay, you're all about halfway, so that's perfect. So now you can do whatever you want. You are... Yes, I knew it too much your birthday. Maybe in the next part, they'll have birthdays. Which would suck, because then they're going to have birthday... Well, that's okay. Then we'll have parenting of teens. Um, so that'll be interesting. There's just so many of these. There's like, it's hard to do anything because I don't want to like, let's take them to the park in the middle of the night. And it's like, it's always during the week. And I don't know. 
I just feel like I don't have much of a purpose with this one, so I'm okay with, like, when this one kind of rotates off because I think I need a break from it. Like, I just don't have... Like, there's some that I just... I have... I know the storyline, and I've got things, and I... But, like, for some reason, this one is just not... I don't know. I just feel like it's falling off. Like, I'm losing my mojo. What the hell just happened? Oh. There's a monster. <laughs> What the frick is going on? Which is hilarious because there's never, like, I have not seen the monster under the bed in frickin', like, a year. <laughs> like, I'm serious. When the monster under the bed was introduced, it used to come out all the time. And then, like, but, like, I have not seen it in forever. And I don't ever put any of the monster things out, like... She would be the one to talk to it. Talk to Monster under the bed. She's like, why are you talking to it? You put it there, you know. Yay, King, you got promoted. I just love that they're all freaking the hell out. This is awesome. They're not going to get any sleep tonight. No sleep tonight. Be getting no sleep tonight. I was just wondering why all of a sudden all four kids got up and started screaming. And I was like, what the fuck just happened? That is awesome. Okay, well, if you've got to pee, go pee, girl. No, don't freak out about the monster under the bed. Go pee. Yeah, well, you're going to have to pee on yourself because your sister's going first. Yell at. Oh my god, stop! Your parents get it! There's a monster under the bed, kid. Jesus. Is she peeing or what? Oh, good lord. Oh my god, these are so freaking annoying. Go away! I don't care! I don't care, game! I don't care! I gotta change that setting in the MC Command Center because holy hell, that's obnoxious. Oh my god. Can we, like, change that? Where's our settings? Is it notifications? Notifications. I do not want... But I don't... I, I want some of them, but I don't want... I don't want all of them. I want, like, these things. Oh, I don't want age-up notifications. Yeah. But I don't want all of them. I want some of them. I just don't want, like, the freaking notifications of people moving. Like, I don't want those. Oh, good lord. These kids are annoying. Well, you know what? I'm going to wrap this part up here because they're going to drive me bonkers in about, like, two seconds with, like, the constant freaking out about the monster under the bed. Like, yes, we get it. There's a monster under the bed. Everybody knows. Go talk to it. No, not you. Not you. Go away. I want you to go talk to the monster under the bed. You can go pee instead of freaking out and then go take a nap. You're going to end up going... You're going to end up peeing yourself. This is lovely. Oh, my God. I'm still mad about those freaking pajama pants. I keep forgetting to, like, change him or... Okay, well, go do something. God, they're so annoying. It's this. This is annoying. Go take a nap. You can go pee. Go pee, go pee, go pee, go pee, go pee. Why will he not go pee? Why will he not go pee? Why the hell will he not go pee? Use. Good effing lord, kid. Okay, you can go here. What is wrong with everyone? And See, this is why. They're driving me bonkers. Because, like, they're all freaking out about the monster under the bed. They won't, like, take a nap. They won't do anything. They all just keep going back and forth. And, like, nobody's going to sleep and it's going to drive me bonkers. So, like, I'm going to wrap this part up here before I literally flip my computer. So, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.